Welcome everyone to day five of the 21 day series, Cryptocurrency Consciousness. As usual, we should wait a couple of minutes for everyone to hop on and get the gang together and hold the frequency, hold the vision and talk about the future and the vision of what cryptocurrency and blockchain are providing for us. And we have everyone on board. Arlene is here, Marina. I think I want to take a list of my habitual fans holding the vision with me, feeling that frequency, feeling that level of consciousness rise, being in the future present, future present. You're bringing the future vision into this present moment. Doesn't that just sound very, very familiar? Hi, Bridget. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate all my friends coming on board. Masters, ingenious creators, seeing the infinite possibilities that you can provide today, building this vision for cryptocurrency and blockchain. Who else do we have? Marie, as usual, is on the sidelines. If anyone has particular questions that can um, provide some guidance. I hope everyone's been taking the time, since they've all been sitting at home in quarantine, um, looking up and reading up and exploring the new platforms that I've already um, shared in the previous videos. Library.tv has been getting a lot of attention. Uh, which I appreciate. I've been posting my videos there. I've already um, accumulated 310 um, LBC coins. So I'm looking forward to their value rising. And as I use these different platforms, and I don't want to say too many right now, but I have, you know, basic attention tokens from BAT and the LBCs and Bitcoins and Ethers and all these sort of coins, you, you sort of have this portfolio of all these different tokens and coins eventually in your in your own portfolio and then as you will see you won't be counting your pennies and your dollars and your bank accounts anymore you'll be shifting onto your portfolios on all these different tokens and coins that actually are value and what came to me today was this beautiful vision is that the before and after so how we've been basically living until now is that we've been told that there's nothing out there until you create it. Okay. So the one authority banks and governments and everything have actually got us into a perpetual vision that nothing exists. There's nothing until money shows the value of that. If this doesn't have a value, a dollar value to it, it's worth nothing throw it out sort of thing. Whereas with cryptocurrency and blockchain now is basically showing you that everything has value. And then the moment you and everything is represented by a token or a coin, which actually highlights that nothingness into something. Everything has value. Everything has value. What was unseen is now seen. Light has been reflected on it. Everything in this world has value and will be represented through a coin or a token. This is the main fundamental difference that I saw and I got excited. It is not true, the story that we've been told from before. And today I want to talk to you about, I want to really dive in to just instigate that vision. When your children ask you, mommy, where does money come from? And you and you start that conversation with them. Teachers have to teach children um, where the money comes from and how the financial system works and what you have to do to go out and get them. There's this place called a bank. There's this place that you need to go to every morning. You need to work. And so money can go in to your bank account. And this is how we live. This is how we buy our food. This is how we buy our home. This is how we buy our car. This is what we use to go to a restaurant. This is what we use to create a company. Okay. That old story has got so many holes in it because it is limited. With cryptocurrency and blockchain, everything that you can do 
in your creative powers, whether you are a journalist, you're a blogger, you're a YouTube, you're a painter, you're a passionate teacher, you, you're a coach, you're an entrepreneur, you're a trader, you're a nurse, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer. Whatever the passion you have, it is now whatever passion you have, you can create value from it. So what would a world look like without banks? What would a world look like without this thing called money, the way we've been perceived to see it? This is what excites me every day. And then I ask a thousand questions to Marie, which she's already like overloaded with me. So now I do my own research because she's really, really busy now with these group of people that are actually learning how to trade. And again, if you, if you feel passionate and you've got the time and you've got the passion to learn how to trade, you want to come on board, send us a private message. We'll send you all the details and when the next course actually will start in May. So, and depending from your feedback, we'll, um, we'll get a, a small group together. We don't want to overwhelm Murray too much. So we'll be doing these circles of teachings, um, one every month or so. We'll see how that goes. So by the end of these 21 days, everyone will get a feeling of that. So a world without money, how are you, do you even know that? Can you even envision that? No, before without blockchain and cryptocurrency, to be honest with you, neither could I, I couldn't even wrap my head or like what needs to be created in order to release the banks. Is that even possible? But now that blockchain, blockchain is where all information all transactions that are basically done by us individuals get stored this information gets stored onto the chain and creates these blocks and as information and transactions are created it gets added and this is why there's there's transparency and this is why blockchain requires no trust because all the information is there. I don't need to trust you in order to do business with you. Do you see what I mean? There is no need for trust. It is already incorporated. We, we will soon develop this, this notion that we don't really need to force ourselves to trust or not trust. It is already incorporated. It is a trustless system. So doing transaction will feel freely they will, we won't have to go through that effort anymore because we will be working as one unity consciousness. And this is why I keep repeating cryptocurrency and blockchain is a representation of a higher level of consciousness. We don't have to be petty in mistrusting ourselves. It's incorporated into the whole structure. So who created um, blockchain and cryptocurrency are a group of people that have been pondering this question. What would a world look like, feel like, operate in without banks? And how can we create that? How many times has someone even pondered that, that question? What would a world without a bank look like? Hardly anyone gave any attention to that because that's just the way things have been and that's just the way things are and it's going to be really impossible and we can't do anything about it so we just got to find a way to effortlessly fit in do what they say we need to do how to do it when to do it and life on earth was created with this one authority now i'm proposing to ask the question every single day until you can see it now why I asked the question is I remembered the first time, I don't know if anyone's watched the documentary, What the Bleep Do You Know? A um, very famous documentary about 10 years ago. One of my favorite teachers over there, um, Joe Dispenza. And you all know that I've been a great fan of his. But I remember this one clip in the documentary that they actually said, because they were talking about quantum physics, that they were the, the Native Americans that um, they had never, ever seen a ship. They had never, ever seen a ship. So in their mind, they had no structure, no form in their mind of what a ship looked like or anything like that. They didn't even know the word ship. But as the ships were coming closer and closer to the land, um, 
one of them saw a strange movement in the water and he was perplexed. Why is the water moving in that sort of way that he had never seen it moving? And he, and he kept sensing, what is there that I'm not seeing? What is there that I'm not seeing until the actual ship became visible to him? And that is the abilities with our minds. We can't see something unless we already know of it. But to actually see it for the first time, to envision something for the first time, this whole community, this whole collective had no idea what a world would look like without a bank. If banks don't exist, money doesn't exist, how would we function? Now, I remember that question very vividly because I was a little girl and I asked, you know, what is this thing called money and why do we need it? And I tell you, the answer that I got did not convince me and still didn't convince me until in my late teens, until I just sort of gave up and said, no one's ever going to give me a proper answer of why we need banks and why we need money and why I need to go to such an effort to get this thing called money. And that's why my whole passion and my whole life has always been focused on the, the negative emotions that people got every time the topic of money came up. And I've seen families fall apart because of the arguments and the despair that the lack of money would give to them. And I've been surrounded by this topic for, for decades. And finally, through Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, they've given me the opportunity. The more I investigate, the more I look at it, the more I invest in it, I can finally see the vision clearly that there is no, there is a new platform where we don't really need banks and they are going to frizzle out very, very quickly. And yes, we're going to have two, three years, maybe a little bit more of just seeing this transition happen and it probably won't feel comfortable for many, but if you can hold the vision with me, it will, it will be comfortable. It won't be as hard as it is for other people because they are going to be letting go of the only thing that they know they've always lived with. This is how it's used. I store everything in a bank account that they let you envision. I don't know what you guys envision as a bank account. Do you really think that there's a room with your little money or there's a, a little shelf with your money put there? It's not. It's all ele electronically in someone's computer in a bank. And the bank is a business. Someone owns it. All right. It's a one authority. There's a one authority that owns the bank and it is connected. All these banks are connected. All right. So they, they make the rules. They decide when to inflate, deflate and do whatever they want to do. And you have no transparency of what is happening behind the scenes. So what would a world without a bank, without money actually look like? With cryptocurrency now, everything will be reflected and represented through tokens and coins. And behind that, your creativity. There will be technology behind it. There will be you as the journalist, you as the YouTuber, you as the teacher, you creating something and putting it on the platform of blockchain and capitalizing on that. And we will all be sharing your home will have value. Your abilities will have, have your, your land will have value. Your creative ideas will have value. Everything is infinite potential. This is why it's important to raise your level of consciousness so you can begin to see it. If your level of consciousness is not high enough, the vision will become completely oblivious to you. You will have something that is called, I just learned the word a couple of weeks ago, that really boggled me, cognitive dissonance, that if you can't see it and you can't understand it, you will dismiss it without further ado. It'll take you three seconds to just dismiss it and say, you know what? Don't understand it. Can't see how this is going to work. Fuck that. I'm going to stick without what I know, with what I can see. And this is how it's always worked. I will sacrifice myself. I will wake up every morning at eight o'clock and I will go to this job and get this thing called money. It's easier. It's not. It's not. It creates emotional havoc. 
and it is not designed for your human being. A human being, their natural abilities is to trust yourself and be creative. How many children have been put through that whole notion that they've wanted to be artists, they've wanted to be musicians, they've wanted to, and they've been called hippies or things like that. You're never going to be able to make a living doing that. Go and get a doctorate become a lawyer, become someone important and get this thing called money and you will be valued, you will be respected, you will be responsible for your family. And that's the way we've always done things. Blockchain puts an end to all of that. It depends on your creativity. Become the musician, become the creative artist. Create positions and 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 forms that have never been created before, you can give value to everything. That is what blockchain, now it's easier to see that vision. No more banks, we will be operating and paying each other peer to peer. We won't have to go through a bank, we won't have to pay interests and fees on things like that. Getting loans, We'll have other people that will be loaning and you won't have to trust the other person because it's already on the blockchain where the trust is not a requirement. It's incorporated. It is all done there transparently. What is the vision and contemplate that I've had to contemplate every single day and I couldn't see the vision properly and every single day, like what, what, what does that mean? So what I do is that I just take out the equation. Banks have never existed. How am I going to do this? And the question arises and you might not be able to formulate the, but if the moment you formulate the question, it's something to do in your personal reality right now that maybe you've got a mortgage. What would that look like? How would I have afforded my house? Or maybe you've got this great idea to create a perfume. Like, how would that operate on the blockchain? Or I've got this great idea to, I'm a journalist. Do I need to go and find a newspaper? No. How can you create value using the blockchain? What do you know how to do? And what is your passion? And how can the blockchain enhance that for you? Where do you fit in on the blockchain? These are all important questions to start asking yourselves. I can stay here for hours going blue in the face, trying to tell you what blockchain is and all the technicalities, all that information is out there. But my purpose of these 21 day videos are to bring to light questions that if you can ask them, remember you have direct access to your higher self. And when you begin to see the vision, like I'm holding mine, these are the pro these are the processes that I used. If you come up with any, if you can offer any kind of insights, bring them home, people. Bring them home, because we are. This is how a vision is created for the future. If you can see it in your mind's eye, you can feel the potential in your body, and then you can start to describe it. Isn't this all familiar? of when we used to do our little conversations, have our little conversations about spirituality and the law of attraction and how it is so that we bring things from non-physical into the physical. You've created this. It's here. It's here right now. And the basic core root all starts with blockchain. Blockchain is the new grid with nodes connecting each and every single individual on this planet to be, to start sharing their own creative potential. Companies are already using it. People are already using it. In four days, I've already made 310 LVC uh, tokens. No, not tokens. They're actually, they're actually coins. And I will be tracking them to see how their value starts increasing in time. By doing what? Creating these beautiful videos where I can get con connect with you. Bringing your level of consciousness to that point where you can start envisioning. And what hasn't been created, you can create it and put it on the blockchain. You can create your own coin. You can create your own token. Yes, you can.
And people say, what, out of thin air? Thin air is energy. And like I said in a couple of videos ago, everything is based on information. And information, data, is light. And that is the pure first source of creation. This is how beautiful it is that by merging spirituality and everything you've gone through in all these years, you're finally seeing how it relates, correlates, and intertwines, seeing it in the 3D. It is consciousness becoming, becoming, morphing into something physical that you can actually see, taste, and touch. It is your creativity that fundamentally brings value and prosperity and infinite potential to this world. That is my vision that I always held and now I'm seeing it in fruition. It is revolutionary. And it has been created by a group of people that asked themselves that question. What would a world without banks look like and what does that imply how does that free you from the one authority marie and i are reading this book we're actually we're listening to it it's about google and what will bring it to its final days um and obviously the answer is blockchain and cryptocurrency so i don't know the name of the book um if anyone's interested i'll look it up and share it with you but it's the interesting thing that I heard the CEO of Apple that said, if a company is giving things away for free, it said, you, the user is the product. And that may be really re recognize that everything from the one authority, the governments, the banks, and everything they say that we will do for you is because we, are their product. We are their necessity. We become the product. And with blockchain and cryptocurrency, we finally take our seat as a creator. We are finally transforming our energy into abundance and we're not being used anymore as being a product. Because Google, for example, has given us everything for free so they can have our attention and our data that they can sell to the advertising companies, where the advertising companies can prosper, where Google can prosper from that and using our attention. They are banking on your attention. Attention is awareness, pure conscious awareness. Someone is banking on it and that is how they are making the money. If you can see this, you can now understand to what potential you have. It is by taking back your responsibility. This one authority is coming to an end. But in order to see the end of the one authority, you need to acknowledge that the authority was there. And now who, who is going to stand into that and say, finally, I see this clearly. I see clearly not to condemn them. I see clearly to take my seat as the creator of my own reality. And now you have a platform. Somebody answered that question and saw a vision for you without you having to contemplate it. That's already a lot to appreciate. I appreciate whoever created blockchain. It might not be still perfect, but it is still something that I can start to envision with. There is an alternative. What does a world without banks and money look like? You're going to live it. You're going to be present in a reality where banks no longer are the authority. Where you can transact and exchange with other peers without their need. And this is the transition until every single person on this world in this world starts using blockchain and the cryptocurrency, the banks will run out of business. They are not needed. And we will all be, will all be operating from this higher net 
It's like a big, big net. It's a grid. Do you know how many people in the world don't have banks, bank accounts? How do they manage? They struggle because they can't find ways to exchange. They don't even exist as a, as, as a being on this planet. If you don't have a bank account, that means you don't have an ID. If you don't have an ID, you basically nobody. But now with blockchain, all these, what we, what we've been calling, you know, three, uh, the third uh, world countries, why are they th third world countries? Because these massive governments of one authority have basically taken all their resources and their livelihood because their governments couldn't pay back a debt. This thing called money. So they've taken away all of their prime resources. No wonder they've become the third world countries. They would be prosperous without this thing called money. And they too could start using, will start using the blockchain and you'll see how they'll start to prosper. Africa will be prosperous. South America, prosperous. Asia, prosperous. The whole world, the whole world doesn't need to sacrifice. These one authorities have been creating this limitation. And we have the technology now, but they're not embracing it. Why? Because it's the game and the control and the manipulation that has allowed the hamster wheel to go round and round in circles, as I said. So yes, it's about seeing it. But now we don't need to create a new government. We don't need to create, have the leaders, the right leaders in there. We can all start even blockchain when voting. We can have a consensus vote without being, with no tempering, without, it will, it'll be completely different on the blockchain where your vote will be seen and acknowledged. Every single aspect, and I put a diagram on my page and even in the group, the Kusula Consulting Group, every single industry that we utilize the health, health centers and the voting and journalism and real estate and all that will all be impacted by the blockchain. But today I ask you, contemplate, what would a world without banks and money look like? And start to see if that vision can start to come into your awareness. Begin to see it and ask the questions, write them down, place your focused attention on them. Because by doing so, you bring it to life. You begin to see it clearly. And when you begin to see it, you can start discussing it. And instead of spending eight, your eight hours a day that you're awake, looking and watching the news of what is happening, you'll be on the phone with someone describing what you can see for the future because blockchain is here. Now that is a conversation worth having. We will never go back to the way things were after this whole quarantine thing happens. There's too many moving parts already happening. So one of the points that I've come to realize is that we're never ever gonna go back to the way things were. And what I realized that my mind can't even imagine things going back the way things were. But now it is just there with such an excitement of what, what am I about to see in my mind's eye that I can revel with and imagine what could my future look like? And if that doesn't excite you, there's, there's nothing that excites me more about seeing infinite potential. And you could say, oh, Raph's just an optimistic. Well, there's so much evidence around to be optimistic. And if you're not feeling optimistic, raise, raise that level of consciousness. Raise it. Because that's where Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and blockchain are. They're up here.
ready for us to embrace. And if you can't see it, well then just raise up to it. Just keep doing that work where you can finally see unity conscious consciousness manifest in the three, 3D world. Let's see if anyone would like to share what you, you're able to see or, or any questions that might be able to be helpful to other people because I'm not going to answer that question. I'm not going to answer the question, what would a world without banks look like? I'm not going to say it out loud because then I'm going to take away all the fun for you. I don't want to do that. Because it's moving of energy. It's, it's allowing your mind to go where it's never been told to go. It's never al been allowed to even contemplate because they've always said, well, what's the point? What's the point to even sit here and have that conversation? Things are never going to change. Instead, here we are, 2020, April the 13th, where you're allowed. You're allowed to contemplate that question and bring that vision to the forefront and share it with your neighbors, share it with your children, share it with your family, with your friends and your peers. What would a world without banks and money look like for you in your particular situation, in your circumstances? What are the benefits that you see? And what are the problems that you foresee could it be that it could be solved by using the blockchain? Bring those to the highlight. Don't expect answers to just come from other people. I want you to see your own answers. I want you to see the connection that you have with yourself. I have a... Um, so Jess says, it feels lighter than the current system of control. There you go. You see, you're feeling into it. A friend of mine asked me a really good question. She says, Rav, can you talk about, I'd really, I'm, I'm trying to tap in. I'm tapping into the frequency of cryptocurrency. And you see, these are conversations I enjoy having. Can you tap into the energy of it? Can you feel it? And Jazz has just said, it feels lighter than the current system. You see how she's already feeling into it. I want you to acknowledge that these feelings that you're having are, are real. You know, this is your knowing. And what other better place to, to express this other than here in, on Kusula Consulting, this is all I've ever been talking about. I want to acknowledge that which nobody else wants to acknowledge. Your information that you feel within your heart it feels lighter than the current system of control behind something called a bank. It feels nourishing rather than life force sucking energy. I work for this thing called money and almost killed myself trying. This feels so good. Thank you for opening up this consciousness. Thank you for sharing, Jazz. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Laurie says, it feels so damn good. I just don't know why I'm feeling it when I'm so lost about it. I can't see it. I'm just feeling your excitement and your clarity and your honesty. I can feel it. We'll go with what feels better and clear up whatever resistance seems to be. All patterns of thought, darlings, are going to take a while to just <clears throat> transition. Okay. I don't even blame everyone. I mean, we've been with the system our whole lives. This is completely brand new. This is why I wanted to open up a channel where we can start taking our feelings and our understanding and morphing them with kindness, with love, with this transition where we have 21 days of just smoothing things out. But I, I really would like you to, I invite you to feel into it and then start smoothing it out. Um, I think it is. Yes, I've been watching a lot of videos about every single platform and there's just like, 
like right now I'm reading an article about 99 new apps and new applications on the blockchain, 99, you know, and when you go into each one and you start to discern, which, you know, does, how does this feel? Because again, not every single application that's on the blockchain right now will, will live to see the, the daylight in the future because everyone's just trying they they're morphing they they're just reiterating it and seeing how how it can be and this is exactly what creation looks like it's not that someone's failing and someone's succeeding no it's it's all creation coming out and what will it comes and it goes so now i'm reading through this article of 99 new new apps on the blockchain and it's exciting to see the inventions the creations the ingenious creative powers behind it and what then i start to envision what the, what that would look like for me or for other circumstances other people in different circumstances um let me see if i can Any other one? Diana says, I feel such a sense of creativity. Yes, that's exactly what I feel. And excitement as I learn more about all of this. The possibilities are endless. Oh, yes. So th that's exactly what I feel. Thank you for sharing, Diana. Um, Bridget. Bridget says, just feeling this. I had no idea how suppressed I've allowed myself to feel by feeling some big daddy authority to tell me. And I was stunned to see how many people actually have just taken it as normal. This is normal. I've, and this is just how I feel about it. And the way I feel about the one authority, no one cares. So I'm not going to even say something, but the one authority that gets to, to create the rules and tell you to obey by them and then implies that you need to trust them at the same time. It's this, that's what was creating separation all along. And while I was on the spiritual path and going through this whole journey, so many people kept saying, you know, there's this separation, there's this duality, bring it together. And now that I feel the connection within myself, I was describing it to a friend of mine today, the way I see the polarities and what created the separation is that there's the duality, as I was saying it in yesterday's video, is that with good intent is implied bad intent. So I'm doing this thing that looks good. Okay. Google is doing this thing. Good, good. I'm giving you a web browser. I'm giving you an email. I'm giving you the platform to do your videos. I'm giving all of this stuff for free because I need you to look at my ads because I'm selling your data to so and so and so and so, but there's no transparency in there. It's not clearly, that is not the intent that is clearly advertised. All right. That's good intent. Pure intent is what blockchain is about. We have, we cannot use your data because it, it's not something that's written in the blockchain. Data is yours. Okay. You have a private and a public key. You decide who to give it to and whatnot. All right. But the good intent implies a bad intent. So there's created separation, duality, polarities. And I see it as a slide. You're either at one end or another end and you just keep sliding down one and you keep sliding down another going from good intent. Oh, that's good. No, no, that's bad. Oh, that's good. And that's bad. And you just spend so much time sliding up and down these, these polarities, which keeps creating separation. Whereas where I go to now is in that zero point. Now there's not an horizontal sliding up and down. When you're in zero point, you just go deeper. Now you have the depth of who you are. And that's where real excitement comes from. That's what Diana can feel right now. That's what jazz can feel right now is going into the depth where you're not distracted by polarities. Do you see what I mean? Can you feel that? And that's exactly what the one authority that need you as a user in order to bank on you and capitalize you with your focus 
is basically this is the strategy they use. They're distracting me to slide up and down the good intent and the bad intent and discerning from there. I'm not going to spend my time discerning on what's good and bad. That's just a distraction. My discernment comes if this is in alignment with me because of my personal circumstance or not. And my discernment for me will be very different for you. Do you see how this level of consciousness just knocks us up a notch or two? You see? I just decided I'm not going to be distracted by their rules. Come into the center and now go place your focus on what feels good to you. And if it doesn't exist in this 3D dimensional right now, go where it does. And blockchain trading has always been my focused attention. And my focus and attention has always been why do traders have never succeeded? And now we have real value to trade. Not this thing called money that anyone can just fart and it'll just plummet because inflation, deflation, whatever it is. Because there's no one authority influencing it. And yes, as Diana had asked um, a few days ago, until the money system actually still exists, there will be this connection with blockchain where it can... But the moment money, I want you now to go to that vision in the future where money and banks do not exist. What will be influencing the market in cryptocurrency? Very, very different laws of physics there. Because it'll all be on us. So I'm, I'm looking after this thing called money has dissipated and become a distant memory from all. Play is the new currency. Play is the new currency. Can we put that on a quote somewhere? Yes, Bridget. Play is the new currency. Exactly. The playfulness. Can you feel even the energy in that? Playfulness. There's no strain. There's no hard work. There's no massive energy against something. It doesn't feel heavy. So these are the words that you can use to find that and to to create that feeling within you. It'll play, play creativity, infinite potential. Marie's been at, oh, Marie's been kept busy. Look at that. Arlene, have those currently in charge been trying to control this or shall or, or stall it in any way? Absolutely, Arlene, absolutely. And I think I said it in my first or second video, who wouldn't be enthusiastic about this? If cryptocurrency takes away all the need to trust because it's already in there, it's already implied, it takes away control, hence also manipulation. Who wouldn't embrace it? Someone who's already benefiting from control and manipulation. And hence, yes, that's why a lot of videos on cryptocurrency have been deleted amongst other things on YouTube, for example. Um, and this is where it comes in. Blockchain is transparent. All, in, all information is on the chain in these blocks. This is why transparency gives us the opportunity to discern for ourselves what we want to invest in and what we don't want to invest in. Where do we want to place our attention? Where we don't want to place our attention? On what platform do we want to put our creativity and what platform we don't want to create? It? What are we... The more attention you give to something, the more it grows, correct or not? And this is exactly where the platform happens, is that your attention, your focus, your creativity becomes more than before. So who's not benefiting from those, from that, is people that have been capitalizing on one authority, on control and manipulation. And yes, are are a bit kicking and screaming at the moment because it exists. It's not something that they can just make it go away. So yes, we've been feeling a bit of resistance from them, but am I concerned? Have I been focusing three seconds a day on them? Not at all, not even that. They don't deserve that attention. What deserves my attention? I do, my connection with source. 
and what, what excites my connection with source right now, infinite possibilities, all the creative possibilities that I have, what can I do now? How can I use these new platforms? What coins do I want to invest in? What tokens do I want to invest in? What tokens do I want to applaud and give my attention to? That's what Mary and I do every single day, day in, day out, and, and feel more into it. And these are my sharings with you of what I do during the day. I explore. Finally, at 47, I've got new things to learn. I've got new things to investigate. I, I like to read and I like to try out new things. How does this work? How does that work? I don't get upset. I don't get frustrated. Finally, I've come to a point in my life I'm actually excited to just dive in and see how these things work. A new lease of life, finally. Um, Celine, yes, we need to be patient with the transition. Amen. Thank you for saying that, girlfriend. Patience is a virtue. It certainly is a virtue. And with patience, I would also put a sprinkle of kindness. Because I can feel that, you know, even though things seem to be taking a long time, they're not. It's here. And look at what's happened in the last two years. And things are going to get faster. So I would appreciate the time that it's taking because it's in perfect timing. All right. Let's not try and accelerate time and saying, I want it to be over because I just cannot see. I don't, I don't want to watch what's going to happen. No, please sit. And this is why holding that frequency is important for all of us. All right. So yes, patience is a virtue. Discernment is a virtue. Just keep holding it and just excite yourselves with these exciting things that are coming every single day on blockchain. I've got 99 apps to, to go and, and discern and, and have fun with. My time in my day, like I was telling Marie yesterday, it seems like my day goes by so fast. It's like, where did the time go? Because just so much has come in. And sometimes, yes, I do feel overwhelmed and I feel like my attention gets scattered and I need to just settle back in zero point and go and go deep. Um, oh, wow. So many questions today. Uh, so many comments. This is lovely. Uh, Marie's been answering. Thank you so much. Um, oh, Joe says here, yes, we felt we had to trust them. Now it feels like we can say thank you for taking us here. Yeah, yeah I like that one. Yes. We've, you've educated us on one system and we felt the limitation of it. But now we are going to exercise our sovereign self and create a new system where everyone can be self-sourcing. Thank you for saying that. Also, please, I would cut and paste that and use it as a quote um, for your page. That's wonderful. Yes, Jazz, please share that. Please share that. That's exactly it. Be in gratitude, <clears throat> even though some people would say they don't deserve it. But that's exactly the contrast that we've come to realize that we are sovereign. And this word sovereign has appeared in my vocabulary only a year ago. I haven't seen the word sovereign scattered around so often lately. Your sovereignty. And that is exactly what this contrast has provided for so many decades. So beautiful jazz. And these are the sharings that I really appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All righty. Well, this was lovely. Today was amazing. This is the energy. This is the energy. This is the vision. Darlings, thank you so much for taking the time of being live here with me. Um, I know the people that will be watching the replay will appreciate and will feel your presence. Um, cut and paste your, your comments and put them on your pages. Share this information with those that still can't see the vision. Give them a helping hand. Keep that vibe high. Keep that energy up high. Hold the vision and explore, be, be child, be like a child, playful, explore these new things, inquire, ask questions, bring them to the table for day six tomorrow. It'll be a pleasure. I love you all so very much. Be kind to yourselves, love one another. I love you all so very much. <laughs>